Today we are going to be simulating the entire career of a 99 high franchise player in NHL 24. The player will be entering the league with maxed out stats and a full career ahead of them. I've done this same simulation on I believe at least the last two NHL games, so obviously I'm pretty interested to see how this compares to the other ones. But without further ado, let's jump in and see what happens in this 99 overall player's career. So let's get started here with Kurt, who is supposed to go first overall as a 99 overall. That checks out. Kale McCarr wins the Art Ross in the first year, 97 assists and nearly 20 goals. And I thought I'd show some goalie stats too, because some people were curious, as the scoring seems to be a lot higher this year. The Leafs win the cup over the Colorado Avalanche, and the Stars move from fifth to first to claim Kurt Dangle. A 99 overall high franchise sniper going to a team that should already be pretty decent. So I'm kind of surprised that they had this draft position. Jason Robertson and Rupe Hints will be his line mates. That is incredible. Ben Sagan and Dadanov on the second line. And obviously he signs his ELC. Defense looking fairly solid. Troy Stetcher is questionable on the first pair there. But they also got Jakey O in net. And it is a successful first season with 95 points, gets them second in the central. And we see 96 from Kurt Dangle, which to be honest, I expected a little bit more. He was over point a game in the playoffs though. However, they only made it to the second round. He did win the Calder, which not a surprise, 96 points in your rookie season. That's good. Halpern going to the Seattle Kraken, another franchise player. And this year they're gonna have Romanov playing with Miro. They finished sixth in the league. And Kurt Dangle, just shy of 100 points, he gets 99 and 45 goals. I find it a little bit weird that his shot pass bias was heavily in favor of shot, and he's still getting a lot of assists. Maybe it has to do with the fact that he's playing with Robertson, I'm not sure. Their goaltender situation fell off of a cliff. Jake disappeared. They still managed to finish fourth in the entire league, though. And we see 98 points from Kurt Dangle. He loves hovering around that 100 mark. Only seven playoff games. It would be the Seattle Kraken that just got Halford that bring them down in round number one. Sidney Crosby retires at the top there. 1,700 points. Great career for him. A new deal is reached between Dallas and Kurt. Four years at about 10.3 AAV. Still no goaltender, really. And now we're starting to see it take effect. They finished fifth in the Central. We do see 106 points from Kurt, though. He was up there for the league leaders, which is nice. Showing some goalie stats once again. And this would be a Dallas-less, sounds kind of weird, playoffs. And this time Ovi got over a thousand goals. So that's beautiful. Mark Shifley going to be the new first line center. And they also picked up Brandon Montour. Vladar will be the starting goalie with Mrazek as the backup. And they see more success with these signings. Finishing third in the division back in the playoff picture. However, they would be dusted by the Minnesota Wild. I shouldn't say dusted, that's a stretch. It went to seven, they put up a fight, but you still lost. And we have the first line reunited again. Rupe Hintz has been promoted back to the first line. They finished third in the division once again. Dangle leads the team with 92 points and 12 playoff games are had by the Dallas Stars once more. The Wild have their number. This time they did it in six games. The lads still together here. Obviously, Shifley did split them up for one year, but I feel like it's one of the more consistent lines I've seen throughout a career simulation. We're already in year eight, and I think it was just that one season they didn't play together. So, Dallas is loving it, apparently. Matthews had the most points with 118. Dangle put up 90 points. He had 46 goals. The team didn't make the playoffs. They finished 17th in the league, and 18 and 19 made it, and you hate to see it. But they're still together, and a new deal is reached yet again. Six years at 12 AAV. They are back in the picture with 108 points, finishing fifth in the entire league. And Dangle is up there with 115. McDavid had an insane year. A great playoff run is had, but the Rangers beat them out in six games to take home the Stanley Cup. So close yet so far. A lot of great players retiring this year, and the band is still together. Robertson, Hints, and Dangle. However, they would miss the playoffs. That's unfortunate. It's sort of back and forth right now. Only 86 points from Kurt Dangle, which is good but not for a 99 overall franchise player. The Rangers win the cup over Chicago in the finals and McDavid retires with 1800 flat. Now that is satisfying. Rupa Hintz really starting to get up there in age. 
He's only 86 overall, has one ability left, and they do make the playoffs with him. 98 points, good enough for fifth in the division. And we see a career year from Kurt, 124, really trying to get Rupe that cup. But unfortunately, his efforts were in vain. He did win a lot of individual trophies, but the LA Kings took them out in round number one. Pasta just over 1,500 points. a boy. Wyatt Johnston takes over, and Rupe is down to 84 now. They are still in the playoffs, 95 points. They seem to love finishing fifth in the division. Eklund, this Calais guy is insane. 141 for the St. Louis Blues, and 101 for Kurt Dangle, who, once again... Could not get it done in the playoffs. He's point a game, but you expect more. He should be stealing games, and it would be to the Calais Blues that they go down this time around. Another very strong retirement class here with Mitch Marner leading the way. Wyatt Johnston will once again be the center for Robertson, who is an 87 overall. Now Miro Heiskanen down to an 85. Their team is dropping. They finish sixth in the central, and we see 98 points from Kurt, who was a plus 16. And he also had a fair amount of penalty minutes, but Eklund goes off again. 142. Kind of had to show his stats here. He is having an insane simulation. Chicago wins the playoffs in year 13. Now Robertson is gone. We have Blake to play with Johnston and Dangle. A new deal is reached. Only one year at 13 million. Their goaltender situation looks okay, but it's not good enough for them to make the playoffs. They finish sixth in the central and we get 109 out of Curtis. 51 goals. Another great year for Eklund. Guy is winning Art Rosses like it's nobody's business. And you know what? Maybe it is none of my business. Maybe I should stay out of it. But it's just very interesting how well this man's is doing. Zegris, the NHL 23 cover boy, retires there. But again, just a very hefty class of retiring players. Dangle is still 99 overall. Once again, playing with Johnston and Blake. Signs a new three-year term at 13.5, and they miss the playoffs, finishing seventh. I haven't seen a player be so loyal to a team like this in what feels like forever. He did get the second most points in the entire league with nearly 120. So, you know, he's still producing, but normally they leave by now. Not this guy, though. He is remaining a star for maybe his entire career. Let's find out. They finished seventh in the Central again. Missing out, Reeves would take over the Art Ross this time. Curtis puts up 40 goals and 65 assists for a total of 105 in the points category and was even for plus minus. The Bruins go on to win the cup over the Calais Blues. And Jason Robertson, a longtime line mate of one Mr. Dangle, retires with 1,622 points. Great career. And they finish seventh again. It's getting out of control, honestly. Like, can you do something different? Anything? He did get a lot of points, 113, 46 goals. So he's up there for the league leaders. Leo Carlson also got 113. They'd be the Broad Street Bullies going on to win the cup this season over the San Jose Sharks. And Matthews gets 1,106 goals and over 2,000 points. That is madness. A new deal is reached yet again. One year at 11 million. Seventh! Stop it! I didn't even notice this until now. Like, can they finish 8th? 6th, maybe? Just shy of 100 points. Gets 99, 43 goals, was a dash 11. The team is not having much success since that line broke up. And I have never seen someone phone it in like this. Okay, I shouldn't say that. He did have nearly 1,400 games and 1,745 points. A good career. But retiring at 37... When he still has his X-Factor, all his abilities, he was still in the 90 overall. Maybe he just had enough of the team's lack of success. And he was locked into a deal they wouldn't trade him. I don't know. Now let's look at some other stats for Kurt, such as him only playing for Dallas. We kind of already covered that, but still. Even though he was 99 overall and playing on what I thought was a pretty solid first line in Dallas, he only won one Art Ross trophy, one heart the Ted Lindsay, and also got the Calder in his rookie year. And in terms of contracts, he signed 17 years worth at approximately 168.20 million earned. Not too shabby. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm sure there's going to be other channels that have already done this or plan to do this, and I'm very interested to see what the results of those are. But this is the one that I got.
So thank you. Appreciate you. I'll see you soon.